Hi guys, Greg the Wild Hippie again, um, back home from the woods. Um, our uh, little RF meter arrived today. Um, interesting results on it. Um, I will take you around and explain it all to you in a little while. But first, uh, the wife's prepared me something to say. She doesn't want to be on. Well, doesn't want to be on camera, so she's um, uh, she's written something out for me. Um, so bear with me. I'm not the best at reading, so. Um, yeah, since she's been here, she's been suffering from tiredness, and since I've known her, she's gradually got worse and worse to the point she hardly leaves the flat, and she uh, because she is so tired, she hardly sleeps and is waking up multiple times in the night. She is always thirsty at night and drinking out of her water bowl. Um, her throat is mainly dry most of the time. Since she's been here, she's suffered from gastric re reflux problems, which have gotten worse to the point. Um, so not to the point. Uh, and two months ago, she was diagnosed with a hiatus hernia, her hernia uh, and Barrett's esophagus, which is precancerous. And if it's not a careful, uh, if she's not careful, it will develop into cancer. Um, she's on now. Uh, now she's now on lifelong medication. Has to have two year yearly endoscopies. Uh, her periods have stopped uh, uh, over a year ago. And since we, uh, we we've had the breakaway that I mentioned in the previous video. Um, uh, then uh, she she came on, which is brilliant news. This means she's healing. Um, doo -doo -doo, where was I? Um, yeah, we're break away from this toxic soup that we're sitting in from all the different um, Wi-Fi's and um, and the smart meters. Uh, doo -doo. Yeah, also, she also suffers with chronic headaches uh, uh, that at times last half a week. Uh, she's also suffered with really bad depression, not wanting to go out of the house very much, and complains of being very, uh, being tired very quickly when we do. Um, since she's been here, her eyesight has gotten worse as well. Um, these are all these are all symptoms from being exposed to high, high levels of radiation. Where are we? Yeah, sorry about this. I I, I hate reading. Um, also suffered really bad depression. Yeah, I've got that bit. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. She's been poisoned with radio frequency, um, microwave radiation. Um, she, uh, I myself have noticed my health going downhill well, since I've been here. Um, yeah, I'm struggling to get to sleep at night, and for some reason, um, when I'm go going to sleep, my nose gets really, really itchy um, to the point it drives me into distraction. Uh, it does my head in. Um, I only seem to get that really when I'm in our room at night. I mean, apparently itchy skin is one of the symptoms of RF. Uh, bear with me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been getting more headaches than I've ever had before in my life. Um, yeah, I'm struggling to get to sleep. Yeah, I mentioned that. Because of that, I'm permanently tired even after sleep. I mean, I'm waking up after a good night, well, a long night's sleep, feeling like I haven't had any sleep. Uh, there's something not right there. Uh, I, I'm irritable. Uh, she'll tell you all about that. I'm I'm really irritable at times. It's, it's, it's permanent tiredness. It's got to be. Um, but there's another symptom of this. Um, da -da -da. Uh, um, yeah. Um, yeah. And also my chest has been really bad of late um it feels like it did when i was when i was a heavy smoker um just really ch heavy tight and like it's kind of gurgling and i'm coughing a lot and bringing up phlegm um i haven't had that for over a year since so uh, it was since like six months after i actually quit smoking I only quit like a year just over a year and a half ago um yeah and then yeah, when we uh, went to stay at a friend's, um, we were there for four days up in Newbig and on the seaside. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, a lot less radiation there. And yeah, we started feeling better. Um, but when we came back uh, the next morning, woke up with a blitzing headache, uh, chronically tired, um, feeling dizzy, weak. I mean, it kind of felt like I was coming down off some serious drugs. Um, it was it was horrible. Um, yeah, and... Um, yeah, it was almost kind of flu-like symptoms in a way. Um, yeah, I, wife's eyes have been really sore. Um, yeah, and we both got um, a funny sensation across the sort of the back of our shoulders. It, it was it was like cold, almost like yeah, it was like a wet towel sitting there. That was that was very strange. Um, but now I'm going to um, have a look at the meter and uh, explain um, a little bit about it. 
and um, tell you about what happens at the different different levels of frequencies um, and then we will start out in the garden um, and um, I will bring you through the flat um, what I'm going to do first um, is uh, once I've explained all this to you um, I, we are going to turn off the electrics in our flat and um, I will also show you that this phone is on airport mode and it is not interfering with the meter at all so this is more scientific if you will um so yeah i will catch up with you in a second all right yep yeah. right, here we go so this is the uh, emf um measuring device it's the acousticom 2 um all of these uh, it works on a traffic light system um so down the very lowest it will come up in green then it'll go amber and then red at the top where it's more dangerous so um, have a quick read of this so i'll just show you that and i'll read it out at the same time so 0 0.01 0 0.02 is um, most people with electro sensitivity are okay on the green levels at uh, the yellow uh, so which is 0.1 and 0 0.05 people with electro sensitive may have symptoms and then uh, one and then 0 0.30 um yeah people with uh it's too high for people with um, electrosensitivity and then uh, three to six uh, is far too high for ambient levels um, so basically bear with me right so basically what that means um, so basically I've, I've um, written this down off of a YouTube video um, so basically um, at 0 0.0000 zero 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 two is the minimum level that a cell phone will work at okay and then um at uh zero point zero 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 two seven uh pine navel a uh, pine needles uh have been shown to age prematurely uh, at zero point five children um experience uh, can experience and do experience headaches irritation concentration um difficulties you know and at, uh out uh at one um yeah at at, at one point oh uh the ball biology um in germany i've probably pronounced that completely wrong um they have extreme concern at that level at just level one you know um and at level one um it will damage the dna in the sperm um and people with um it, who are sensitive to it will experience headaches dizziness irritability fatigue weakness insomnia chest pain difficulty breathing and indigestion at 2.5 uh, there's altered calcium metabolism in the heart muscle cells um, that doesn't sound good I mean I'm not 100% sure what that means but yeah if that's messing around with your heart the calcium in your heart cells that's not going to be doing you a lot of good uh, 4.0 there's changes in the hippocampus uh, affecting memory and learning so it's damaging your brain um, and you know as far as things go 4.0 is a pretty low reading um, at 6.0 DNA is damaged in the cells um, you know so it, it, it it's messing you up you know and that's still a reason a bit considering how much these smart meters do pump out and what the government say is a safe level um, and then 7.93 is what your smart meter pumps out every 30 seconds to a minute it's boom pulsing that out yeah you know, and a pulsing one apparently is actually doing you more damage than having it at a at an ambient level um so yeah what we're going to do now is um i'm going to switch all the electrics off in the house and then we're going to go out in the garden where this meter is registering at its lowest and i will show to you that the phone is not affecting it and then we'll go for a little walk around the house shall we i'll see you outside in a minute all right here we are out in the garden where the readings are almost nothing um 
Still getting little little bits, but it's still in the green. So yeah. Now I'm going to take you into the house and see what we get. I almost forgot. Excuse the car driving first. Almost forgot. Yeah, I am using a, a phone, um, but it's on airport mode, so I'm going to bring it really close just to prove that the phone is not having any effect whatsoever on this device okay all right here we go take two um yeah the footage i took last night around the house was useless it was too dark because it was late in the evening so we're going again it's sunshine um we've turned all the sockets off we left the lights on because a couple of the rooms are quite dark so um here's the acoustometer there we go whoa Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. That's the point. Um, I'm going to stop right there. Right, right. We'll start again because I forgot to switch the phone onto airport mode. Ha! So it was coming up at maximum radiation. So um, there goes the wife. Um, so yeah, here we go. We're coming through. You're a cell tower. She's telling me to talk about the cell towers, but there's not one near here. Oh, look, there we go. We're up to 0 0.5, 0 0.1. Um, no, we'll help look at it. Just peaked up. Yeah, there you go. So at this level, it will affect, at the 0 0.05, um, it will start to affect children and people with, um, with uh, electrosensitivity, especially at 1.0. So as we come through into the kitchen, oh, it's the kitchen it's into the living room, um, it yeah, it's peaking at um, at 3.0, which is pretty high. Um, would help if I actually. Uh, yeah. Everything is off, so yeah, we are. Yeah, so it's yeah 1.0, and it's just high enough to cause health effects. Yeah, this is where I sit a lot and make my model aeroplanes. Um, Oh, it went really jump right up to one then don't know if you caught that this is the neighbor's wall where a lot of it is coming from um it's just peaking at 10 again i'm thinking the uh the really high blips where it's going right up to one is coming off the smart meters i can't be sure though so we'll come back through back into the hallway and in the hallway, we're, not, we're on green, which is good. We're coming up to high levels. We're coming into the kitchen. Yeah. The fridges are on, but they won't. They don't. They shouldn't cause much. They cause absolutely nothing. Yeah, so you go down there, comes off the chart. Um, so this is the wall where the smart meters are. It's not giving anything off straight away. There we go, look, straight up to orange. There we go, so we're going to come back round into the bedroom where we sleep. So this is where the wife sleeps. Yeah. Yeah, it's all going, yeah, 0 0.05. Yeah. So yeah, she's very electrosensitive, jumping up to one on occasion. Um, she's very electrosensitive, so she's getting quite ill. Um, that'll explain it really. There we go. So we're hitting 0.3, which is very high. Really. Um, we're on 0.3 on the neighbour's wall again. Um, and this is my side of the bed. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Sitting at 0 0.05, and it's gone right down. So it's in the green. So yeah, points. Yeah. So yeah, prolonged exposure at that can cause a lot of damage. Um, you know, it's it's not off the charts, but it's still very high. Um, and uh, pretty unhealthy. Um, yeah. I'll switch that off now. Yeah. 
I didn't want to stop recording then, so I've got a little bit extra on the end, which I may or may not be able to edit out. But yeah, so yeah, it's been scientifically proven that readings uh, that you know the EMF at these le levels is harmful to health, and we've already explained the deterioration in our health. And my wife's especially, especially with her um, Barrett's esophagus. I mean, I don't want, I'm not ready to lose her, basically. I know she's not cancerous yet, but if we stay here, it will develop. And if we end up you know, sitting in this EMF soup wherever we go, and it is everywhere we go, and it's going to kill us, her, you, you, you know, it's going to make your kids ill. Um, something really needs to be done about this. Um, yeah, I'm... Um, so yeah we're seriously looking at moving house um trying to find somewhere where there's less emf but it'll catch up with us there eventually as well um anyone want to start a hippie commune in the middle of nowhere you know it makes sense <laughs> but anyway i'm going to leave it here otherwise i'm just going to start ranting again so like share subscribe all of that leave me a comment if you want it'd be great to read them and i'll always do my best to reply not that i get many at the minute so um that'll be cool thank you very much for watching see you next time Right, yeah, I forgot to put the sound on. Um, I could do a quick another whip round in a minute. Um, wife's giving a thumbs up on that. <sighs> yeah, so I'll go around quickly again with the sound on, so you get the uh, so you can hear it. Um, it's quite a terrifying noise, actually, really. Um, but yeah, that's the, what we're that's what we're sitting in, and it's gradually grinding us down and making us hill. So uh, yeah, I'll go again with the sound on. Bear with me. Right, okay, right, the wife's complained because I forgot to switch the sound on on the uh, thing, so we're going to go round again for a second time with the sound on, just so you can hear what it sounds like, the, the noise of the radiation. it's same sort of levels as earlier on and hear the noise it's quite scary some unknown reason well it wasn't an unknown reason the uh, SD card got full so I just had to delete some videos so there we go we're in the bedroom it's where the wife it sleeps so it's peaking at point one exactly the same reasons as earlier on just getting the sound of it Yeah, it's peaking at 1.0, it's sitting at There's one room I haven't been in. She's in there, so I won't. There you go. Yeah, there you go. That's another quick tour of the flat with the uh, acoustometer with the sound on. Alright, just for a laugh, I'm on airplane mode. I'm by this uh, radio tower. Where this? See that coming off there, peaking at one, which is where the health problems are, you know, are known to start. It's sitting. <laughs> That's just crazy, you know. It can't be good for you. Anyways, I'm going home. It's raining. Yes, that last little clip with me sitting on my bike, um, uh, recording the um, 
the readings from a uh, from a from a cell tower. Um, I went out for a ride on my bike earlier and I uh, saw one, saw a, a pl safe place to stop. So I thought, just for the interest, I'll have a look. You know, use the meter while you got it. Um, yeah. So and it's sitting right near that is slightly higher than what we're getting in our uh, in our flat uh, all the time. Um, for some reason, uh, last night um when when we were recording um we were getting slightly higher re readings but unfortunately the video was useless it was too dark um but never mind it's still currently sitting high enough to cause damage so yeah um yeah i'm gonna wrap it up again now so uh like share subscribe leave me a comment and i'll see you on the next one take it easy